Dictionary literals are very similar to array literals, which we just discussed earlier. It's a way for you to create a dictionary on the fly or kind of shorthand. And we're going to go through and use this variable that we created in the last video called dog ages. Remember, dog ages is a dictionary with strings as keys and ints as variables. So for the string keys, we're going to pass in the dog name and we should get out a int specifying the dog's age. So over here, we're going to say dog ages is equal to, and you can see here we have a couple of values. And to think about it, uh, an entry in this dictionary consists of everything up to this comma, and then this is a separate entry. So in this entry, we have both a key here and a value, and they're separated by this colon. So uh, the key here is Ralph, the name of the dog, and then the value is this int which is the age of the dog. So you can see that we have two entries here. Now if we want to add a new one, we'll put a comma here. And so for the key, we're going to say dog name Sean and use our colon to specify now that we're talking about the value. And we'll say that this Sean dog is eight years old. And you can see this is how we can very quickly create a dictionary literal. And remember, Swift is really great at inferring uh, what type of variables you are creating. And so rather than specifying here that this is a dictionary of string and ints, we can simply delete all of that and just say dog ages equals uh, this dictionary literal. And the Swift knows because it says, okay, you've created a dictionary literal and all the keys are strings and all the values are ints. So this must be a dictionary where the keys are strings and the values are ints. And you'll notice if I try to even just on one of these values specify it as a string. Uh, Swift is going to throw in an error at me saying, no, this isn't a valid dictionary. Uh, you can't do this. So if we go ahead and just change that back to an int, everything's peachy king.